Welcome back to Free Play Arcade, the show where I find interesting games that you can play for free. Occasionally, when I sit down to make something, be it a drawing, a script for this show, or any other creative work, a blank canvas can lead to an immediate creativity block. What do you do when you can literally do anything? It can be a daunting task. There are several tools that can inspire creativity, and many of these are employed by myself as well as my friends. Most of these tools revolve around setting limits to help expedite the process. One of the more popular tools in keeping creativity sharp amongst visual artists is called speed painting. An artist will sit down with a limited amount of time and churn out a painting. And when the timer goes off, all pencils, brushes, or styli must go down. Graham Borland, the creator of Sort the Court, has been doing a speed sketch a day for several years now and decided to take advantage of the slow game jam to express some of the concepts they've been exploring for a larger project they would eventually like to tackle. This is what led to Seven Doorways. Seven Doorways is less of a game and more of an experiment. The player controls a shadowed figure with a staff and causes pillars to erupt from the ground with magic. There's not much more to it than that, except for one caveat. There's only one environment per day. If a player would like to see more spaces, they have to come back the next day and load the game back up. The world of Seven Doorways is very representative of the kind of sketch work Graham has been crafting. The objects are roughly painted with big swatches of color and free of extraneous details. But the added element of interactivity really makes the worlds pop. Plus, the added effect of parallaxing perspective adds so much depth to the space, it's almost like navigating around an interactive diorama. I have been looking forward to opening up the game almost as if I'm a child opening a present. I want to see what new space I've been gifted and spend a few minutes interacting with this mysterious place. Although Graham Borland mentions on the Seven Doorways Itch.io page that this game is meant to serve as an experiment, and a test for a potential future project, there's no telling what that project could end up being. However, for now, I simply want to keep enjoying these little pockets of visual inspiration that have, as an unexpected consequence, helped inspire me to be more creative. If you have a few minutes, visit Seven Doorways, and let the bite-sized experience perhaps help to inspire you.